Beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer, joined by Chris, Real Ale 140, and we have something very special. It's Rogue's Voodoo Donut Pretzel Raspberry and Chocolate Ale, ale with natural flavours. There you go. The one thing I don't know is the ABV on this, um, which I suppose the Americans don't have to. Oh, here we have 5.4%. ABV, so voodoo donut. Let's get it open into a glass, see what we get. Chris, what do you think of a, a beer with pretzel, raspberry, and chocolate in? Sounds rank. <laughs> um, what I've heard, lots of these, because this has been a whole range, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, what I've heard, they've all been pretty hanging. So, this is a first for me. That'll do. That'll do. Um, we need to give it a go. Give anything a go, really? Yeah, absolutely. So it's, I mean, pretzel, I'm guessing that's going to give, give you a yeasty kind of hit. Yeah. Then your raspberry. I reckon. Standard flavour of chocolate. Yeah, again, standard flavour of a beer. Yeah, I suppose some of them will, will work. Mm. Some of the flavours. If you pretzel, throw enough flavours at the wall, you'll eventually end up with a beer that's quite nice. And, and I suppose as well, the, the pretzel's going to be salty. You get uh, German beers which are salty. Because um, you, you get that pretzel, that's going to be more of a malty, yeah. biscuity. I can see it potentially. And then, like you say, the chocolate. This this sounds probably worse than it is, but uh, there's the beer in the glass. It looks pretty tidy, nice lacing. Uh, one finger of head. Yeah, dark dark chocolate coloured beer. It's not much through. light getting through. Yeah, you can see through them. It's not a little, pitch black. not pitch black, but little. I reckon we should get the aroma on this. Cheers. First here is the chocolate. The chocolate. It's like a milk chocolate. It smells like um, what is Young's it? double chocolate stuff. It smells to me like Hershey's chocolate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. American yeah. chocolate that people bring back for holiday sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little bit sweeter than that. There's a. I think the thing is that they make their chocolate with a higher vegetable content than when we cars and. and also, definitely more so than you get on the continent. Chris, uh, just to stop the review for one second, uh, tell us where we are. Oh, we're, we're in the discount supermarket in Cardiff. Uh, DS Cardiff Drinks on Twitter. This is just some of the beer. Um, there's some American beer over here. There's a load of European, European beer. beer. And it's some cider and stuff over there. Actually, there's a load of standard food around the back as well. If you're ever in South Wales, you want some beer, you come here. Um, it's off. Uh, just uh, by the Heath Hospital area of, of Cardiff, yeah. um, it's it's a great little place. You can spend hours in here just just looking at the beers on offer. They've got some great canned beers. They've got some great bottled beers. Um, yes, and look at this Beaver Town's brand new Gamma Ray, all here on the shelf, ready to go. So so let's get let's dive in and give this beer a taste. Yep. Cheers. Do you know, I was expecting it to be a lot worse. <laughs> That's probably the best I could say about it. Um, it's, it's sweet, it's very quickly sweet. Um, you get a little splash of the raspberry on the lips towards the end, you also get the flies buzzing around. Yeah, yeah, I got the fruit, it's the middle of summer here, so yeah. fruit flies buzzing around. Um, mm. It's got a, a thin mouth feel. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not. Well, when, you, when you associate chocolate and, and say, well, not that I've had pretzel in a beer, I'd expect the mouthfeel to be a little bit bigger. It's a bit like somebody spread Nutella over a bagel. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and then you sort of stuffed it in your beer when you weren't looking. Ooh. Tiny bit of hazelnutty. They didn't mention that one. Yeah, and that's probably a little bit like their hazelnut, they brewed a hazelnut beer, didn't they? They did. I'm guessing they've got to use the base recipe. They must use the base recipe to get this this voodoo range. Yeah, yeah. Bit of raspberry, bit of chocolate, bit of pretzel. If you look at the beer, um, giant pink bottle. It's like a boy racer, isn't it? It's like the boy racer's beer. This one. I feel like making that mouth expression that he's making there. Yeah. So, Chris, what do you think of the beer? It's a novelty product, I think. I don't. I just don't. 
room just don't do it for me with this range at all. Yeah. Um, passable, if somebody got, got, got me a half and I was in the pub, I'd finish the half and then I'd find something nice to drink. I'd be thankful that I tried it, you know, you should give it a whirl if you see it. Split a bottle with a friend, no, you're not going to want to drink all 650, 750 of this? Six, yeah, about 650 of it. Uh, I've reviewed the whole lot of it now. The, the three beers, the Rogue Voodoo Donut range, and to be honest with you, this is the best one. The the banana the, and the, the peanut butter one was, yeah, very novelty, not very nice at all. This one is the best of the bunch, and that's, again, that's the best you can possibly say about this beer. Um, if, if you were buying craft beer and you, and you you know they've obviously they've done this as a marketing trick yeah it's, it's a marketing trick that that, that that they've come across it's it's a big on social media on Instagram and Facebook people, people taking pictures of it and that's what they've wanted and that's what they've achieved but as far as the beer goes they're not going to encourage people to go and try the other stuff or this yeah you can't you couldn't buy this and say to your friends try this this is a game beer this yeah. will get you into all the other things that are behind us here. Yeah. You couldn't do it. It's not going to work. So I'm not really sure what the point of it is. Four out of ten. Four out of ten. I'm going to give this... I think it's worth for me six out of ten. Um, it's, it's something which... It's not absolutely terrible. But it's, you know... <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose... Um, I, I'm going to give this a six out of ten. Six out of ten from Rogue. Four Rogue Voodoo Donut Pretzel Raspberry and Chocolate Ale at 5.4% ABV. Thanks to Chris, Real Element 40, for joining me. Thanks to Ali. Thanks to Ali for bringing us in this, well, for letting us review with this great shop with all of his different beers he got on offer. Come and check them out in Cardiff. And cheers!